Hey guys, I recently purchased and set up this dollhouse. It does come with quite a few different furniture and accessory items, so today I'm going to be taking a look at the different items as I set up each room. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner to notify it every time I upload a new video. This video is a shopper's gift guide so shoppers can determine whether or not they'd like to purchase this item. So there is meant to be a dividing room on the top level, but I just opened it up just to make that one room as I prefer the study and the bedroom to be together. And then we also have multiple different rooms on the other levels as well. I've already organized the furniture pieces, so the furniture that's meant to be in a particular room is already going to be there, but I'm just going to be setting it up so it looks like a realistic house. So let's go ahead and style the first room. So we're going to be starting off with the top level first and over in this section we have the bedroom set up. There's a small little side table and then there's the bed. Let's move the side table out of the way so we can position the bed correctly. So it does come with a bed frame. It's made out of a wooden material and it's quite heavy and then there's a mattress as well. You can remove the mattress off of the bed frame and I'm just going to leave it because I've already placed it down. But I do love the mattress design. There's polka dots on it and it matches the styling of the house perfectly as well. We also have this small little blanket that goes over towards the side. It could also double as a rug as well. I think I do prefer it as a rug, but just to match the photos, I'm going to have it on the bed here. And then we also have a small pillow as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the bed over towards the corner. And I'll just push it over towards the side and then we'll add the pillow right over here. And then all we need to do is add the side table. And just before we add in the table, let's go ahead and fix up the pillow. I'm going to add it over towards the corner of the bed. And as for this curtain, I'm not a huge fan of it. It's just a classic cloth design, but it's very creased. I could add some sort of ribbon and attach it and move it towards the side here. I might end up replacing it. It is very easy. You just have to cut this here and then you can style it again or else I could iron it. I'm not sure. I'm just not overly happy with it. I'm definitely going to change it later on, but for now I'm going to leave it and I'll just move it over here and hopefully that stays in place. So let's add the side table right next to the bed here. I do love how it matches the bed as well. It's very similar in style. And this plant will be going over towards the other side of the room. So we'll just move that out of the way for now. This fish is not a part of the side table either. You can style it wherever you'd like in the house itself. What I do love about this item in particular is that the drawer does remove. So you can have it like this and you can display different accessories and items or else you can place this right at the bottom or else you can have it where it was originally styled. I do really love this. It'll be perfect for any room setup. I'm going to add that over towards here and then we'll place the fish there. And as I am trying to match the photos of how they originally styled the house, I'm going to place the plant over towards the shelf here. I love the shelf so much because you can add books, miniature decor and accessory items or plants. You can definitely add more items along here and it's stuck in place so it definitely won't fall. So here we have an overview of the bedroom completely styled and set up. And what I love about it is that there's hardly any furniture or accessory items in the room. So they've kept it very minimal and it's not overly cluttered. And that's the same for the rest of the house as well. So if you take a look at the back, the wallpaper is different because this is meant to be two separate rooms. One side is plain pink and then the other side is more of a polka dot. This is actually the wall that's meant to go in between the two rooms and it's meant to stand up like that. I do love the rustic design of it, but I just love how open this is and it connects the study and the bedroom together. So I definitely prefer it as one room. So here we have the study section of the room. We have a pot plant, a desk, and then a chair as well. So the pot plant, I love how the pot is a light pink color. We'll move that out of the way for now. That's just made out of a lightweight plastic material. And as for the desk, We'll add that over here and it doesn't have to be a desk. You can definitely just have it as a side table featured in a room setup and this removes as well. So you can have it like this and you can show all the different accessories like books and smaller items. You don't have to have the drawer there. There are a few accessories inside and therefore the cork board will be showing that later on. We'll place that there. I do love this chair so much. It's made out of a lightweight plastic material rather than this wooden but we'll just add that over towards the side. And then finally the pot plant can just sit over here. So here we have the cork board. It's just sitting on top of the desk and I did screw it in place as a part of the setup instruction. So it definitely won't fall down. So here we have an overview of the setup on the top level. We have the study over on one side and then the bedroom section over towards the other side. I do love how minimal it is. There's hardly any accessories or items and it's styled exactly the same as the original setup. So let's go ahead and move right along to the next room. 
We are now up to the second level of the house and this is the living room. There is a chair with a few cushions, a TV and a TV cabinet as well. So the first item we'll be taking a look at is the chair. It is very lightweight and this is made out of a plush material so it seems very comfy. And then there's two extra cushions. So this hardly has any stuffing inside of it. It is very thin. You could have it as a seat cushion like this or else you can have it as a cushion sitting up. I'm going to have it sitting up like that. And then we also have a decor pillow as well. It has a gorgeous floral design, it's so pretty. And I'm just going to place that over towards the side of the room. And as for this item, it is the TV with the TV cabinet. So it seems like they're looking at the ocean. There's a dog and a few people and some binoculars as well. It's made out of plastic material again, and it's not interchangeable. There's no slides you can change out of it. I'm sure you can stick a photo in front of it if you'd like to change the TV, but it is a wonderful addition to the house. It's not stuck onto the cabinet. And then there's the TV cabinet over here, and it's the exact same material and style as the side cabinets over in the top room. And you can open this up so you can have it open like that, or else you can add this like so. So I'm going to place this over by the back. And then we'll add the TV there and it can stand up like that. And in case if you're wondering, here's what the outside of the house looks like. It's blue. And then we have these window shutters that are pink. They are stuck in place so you can't actually open and close them. They're just there for decor. But this accessory item here is interchangeable. And I wish this set came with more of them. I really like four of them. There's only two. So I just have one on either side. You can push it open, but it does stay in place. And then you can change it throughout the set so you don't have to have it just on the one window. But I really like it over by the living room. So I'm just going to have it here and it's very easy to place down. And once you push it, it should be able to stay in place. And the smallest room in the house would definitely have to be the bathroom and it's over on the second level and there are a few furniture pieces and accessories that we have to style it in order to make it look more like a bathroom. So the first item we have is the shower and that can just sit over towards the side. There's a gorgeous pink shower curtain and then there's a storage section towards the back. It does look very realistic and all of these items are made out of a lightweight plastic material. And then the next item we're placing down is the sink. That can go right in the back corner of the room and then we also have the toilet as well. The seat does open and then so does the lid as well. So we'll have that over there. And then we also have this towel. There's a towel holder here, which I do like, and I love how it's a part of the setup itself. And then the towel is a lovely pink color to match the wallpaper and then the shower curtain as well. So we'll just have to place that. So it's standing up like so. And then we can add the rest of the decor items. So there's only one decor item over by the sink and it is the soap. It is made out of a plastic material, but I do have to say it does look very realistic. That can just sit over towards the side there. And then as for the shower, we have two items to add. It's the shampoo and conditioner. There is an orange picture at the front. It features an orange slice. And then the larger bottle is shampoo and that can go there. And then as for the second item, it also has the orange slice as well. And it says conditioner at the front as well. Both of the bottles match and so do the labels as well. And over by the side of the sink here, there is an opening so you're able to add in the mirror. There's two holes so you're able to screw it in place. And that's what the back of the corkboard looked like as well before I attached that. I chose not to, I'd rather not have the mirror there, but I think that's a great option if you'd like to style it that way too. The second level has the living room over towards one side and the bathroom over towards the other side and I've added the different furniture and accessory items they show in the original photos. So I tried to style it as similar as that. So the living room is very simple. There's only a small chair in there but you can definitely add in a couch if you'd like or another chair. And as for the bathroom, I don't think you need any more items besides that. You have the sink, the shower and the bathroom. You could add a small hamper over towards the side for towels but I don't think you actually need that. I think the bathroom setup is pretty good. Now it's time to go ahead and style the bottom level. So the first room is the dining room and the second room is the kitchen. So this room here is the dining room itself. It has a polka dot design over by the back. There's two chairs, a table, and a few different accessory items as well. I do have to say the quality of the table and the chairs aren't that great. They're made out of a plastic material. Seems quite cheap compared to some of the other items. I do love the chair, a part of the desk set over by the top level. I wish the chairs were styled more like that than this, but that's all right. We'll go ahead and style this. So here we have the first chair and then the second chair. We'll push them right to the back so we can place the table in the middle. 
I do have to say, even though the table is made out of plastic, it doesn't seem like it will fall over very easily, which is good. So the set does come with two cups and they're a blue color. And then we, it also has two bowls as well. I love how the bottom of the bowls have pink. It matches the wallpaper in the room. There's also two spoons a part of the set, but that is in the kitchen. So we have two knives and two forks here. We'll just place that over there for now, and then we'll go ahead and style it later on. And the last room we'll be setting up is the kitchen itself. So we have this small little island here along with a bowl and some spoons as well. I'm going to move that out of the way just so we can take a look at the kitchen in more detail. What I like about the kitchen is that it's not attached to the house. So you don't have to have this room as the kitchen. You can place it somewhere else in the house or over by the top level as well. There is a stove. There's also a sink as well. There's two sets of cupboards that do open up. And you can see the section is a little bit smaller because of the sink. This one is completely open, so you can add in more items there. And they seem to open and close. There's also two shelving units for storage. And then there's a top cupboard up here, which is really great for spices and smaller items as well. As for this cupboard, it's definitely the fridge for the kitchen. And that should be able to open. And there's a total of four different shelves there. So you can add basic fridge items like milk, eggs, anything like that. So we'll go ahead and close that. And it seems like a pretty classic kitchen. So we have the island that goes right in the middle. This has to be one of my favorite furniture items, a part of the room setup, just because you don't have to have it as an island in the kitchen. You can have it more as a side table in a room. And it does have a marble effect as well, even though it's made out of plastic and it's very lightweight. I do love the style of it. This bowl is more of a salad bowl compared to the other two, and it has that pink design at the bottom. And I just placed the spoons there for now because I didn't want to place it over by the dining table, and it can just sit there like that. So here we have an overview of the lower level. So on one side, there's the dining room, and on the other side, there's the kitchen. I do really like the quality and style of the kitchen. It's very modern, and there's a lot of room for storage as well. And I do also love this accessory item too. In case if you're wondering where the other plant item went, it went over by this window, and I think it's a great addition to the kitchen itself. So as this entire house setup was inspired by the original photos of the house, you can see there's not a lot of accessories and items because I only used the items that were a part of the actual set itself. But if I were to style this house, I'd definitely add a lot more items to the kitchen and also the living room as well. The house is definitely really great to style. I love all of the different furniture and accessory items. And as I only styled it with just the furniture items that were a part of the set, it is quite minimal, but I can't wait to go ahead and style it with more items as well. I did post an opening review of the actual house itself, building it, so be sure to go watch that to see the whole process. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.